Facts First presents This German man found a secret compartment in his attic. What was inside was incredible. Rudy Schlattner is an 83-year-old German man. When he was 13, he and his family were forced to leave their homes in Czechoslovakia. It was at the end of World War II. They were forced to go by the Czech government due to their policy to remove Germans from the country in the wake of the conflict. Germans were being expelled from Czechoslovakia because of the backlash from the country's occupation by the Nazis. This lasted until 1945. Rudy and his family were lucky because thousands were killed during this time. The family was sent to an American-occupied zone where they were safe. When the family was being forced to leave their home, they could only take the clothes they had on their backs. Everything in the house now belonged to the Czech government, but Rudy's father wouldn't accept this. Rather than leaving everything in plain sight, Rudy's father hid many of their precious items inside the home. He hoped one day they'd be able to return to the house to gather their things. Unfortunately, this did not happen. The family never returned to the home, and it was later remodeled and became a kindergarten. Rudy remembered what his father told him about hiding their belongings, though, and he wanted to return to the home to see if anything was still there. Rudy wanted to visit his childhood home, so he reached out to the officials in his former town of Leibuk. The town officials allowed him to return to the house to see if the family's things were still there. Rudy knew that if he found his belongings, they would not be his. When the Czech government expelled the Germans, they also confiscated their belongings. This meant anything Rudy did find on the property is still the property of the Czech government. When Rudy went to his boyhood home, he was accompanied by representatives from the museum in Leibach. The local mayor, the kindergarten manager, and an archaeologist were also present. When Rudy got to the attic of the building, he began tapping on the ceiling boards with a hammer. He was listening for a sound. Next, he searched for a length of rope that his father told him about. When he found it, he pulled. Almost like magic, the boards became loose. It allowed Rudy to remove the boards easily to find the treasure inside. Everyone in attendance couldn't believe that everything had been perfectly preserved despite being hidden there for 70 years. This German man found a secret compartment in the attic, and what was inside was incredible. The first things that Rudy pulled out included a set of skis, hats, clothes hangers. This was just the first of the items he pulled out, though, and they brought back memories for him. He says seeing those items for the first time in so many years, it was like traveling back in time. The group packed everything up and brought them to a museum in the nearby city of Usti nad Labem. When the group got everything to the museum, they started opening the boxes. They found cigarettes in their original packaging, sewing kits, paintings. One of the paintings was by acclaimed landscape painter Josef Stegel. During World War II, the artist lived in that house. According to the museum manager, Václav Hufek, finding objects hidden by German citizens after the war was very rare in that region. For Rudy, seeing those things after all this time was a very emotional experience. He didn't like the fact that he would not be able to stake a claim on his family's things, but he was willing to help the museum identify all the objects that were found. And the hall was huge. It took hours for Rudy and the others to go through and catalog every item. Rudy's not the only person who found hidden items from his past in the building. In 2016, the Talent Factory Comedy Club in Nevada, Iowa was owned by Larry Sloan, and he was renovating it. For decades, it had been a popular place for comedians, illusionists, and singers. Before that, it was a movie theater. It was built in the 1920s, and many people sat in the balcony to see their favorite films. During the renovation, the workers found a wallet that had slipped between the floorboards. The workers opened the wallet and realized it belonged to a child when they found a Boy Scouts of America card and ration stamps in it. This told them the wallet dated back to World War II. After checking the wallet and doing some digging, they managed to find the owner. The wallet belonged to Claire McIntosh, who lived in Des Moines, Iowa. He was 85 years old by this time and agreed to meet Larry Sloan at the theater to recover his wallet. When he saw the wallet, he says he was taken back in time. Claire says it's incredible that Larry went to such great lengths to return such an old wallet. Have you ever lost something that you'd love to get back again? Tell us about it in the comments and subscribe for more.